Hi, I'm Minda Tracy from my online training hub. This tutorial was inspired by one of our members, Kylie, and you'll see that I combine two techniques or tools together to solve Kylie's question. I hope you find it useful. If you'd like to follow along, you can click this link to download the workbook over at my blog. So here's our data. What we want to do is fill the word current down the rows where the position title is the same as the first instance of the word current. So in this case, we would want current in these cells, and then these cells, and then these cells. Now we could write an if formula to test to see if the position title in this row is the same as the position title there. If it is, insert the word current. If it's not, insert a blank, and the two double quotes will return a blank. And we can then copy that down, but that's a really manual way to populate this data. And Kylie has 40,000 rows of data, so that's really not an option. So what we need is a really quick way to just select the blank cells in column E, and then we can write out a formula and just populate those cells. And we'll use GoToSpecial to do that. So the first thing you need to do is select all of the cells in your column that contain or that you want to contain a value. In other words, don't select the whole column E, just select the rows containing your data. Control G to open the Go To dialog box and then click on Special. Here we can tell it what we want it to select, and in this case it's the blank cells. So I'll click OK, and we can see now just the blanks are selected. Without clicking anywhere other than the formula bar, we can now enter our formula. So if this cell equals this cell, then return the word in that cell, otherwise return a blank. And I'm going to press Control and Enter, and that enters the formula in all of the selected cells. So you can see if I arrow through, the formula is in every cell that was selected and obviously this cell already had the text in there so that wasn't one of my selected cells. So that's a quick way to populate a formula into blank cells throughout a column that already contains some text. One last thing, we can make this formula slightly more robust because at the moment there's a chance that this position title could be repeated but the employee name could change and so we would end up with current potentially on the wrong rows. So what we could do is add an AND formula or an AND function to this IF function that also checked that the employee ID or their name was the same and the position title was the same. And then if there happened to be an instance where the position title continued down, but for a new employee, you wouldn't get the current flag copied down. If you like this video, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. If you haven't already downloaded the workbook, click on the link and you can pop over to my blog and you can also find step-by-step -step written tutorials there. And be sure to sign up to our weekly newsletter so you can learn more tips and tricks like this to help you stand out from the crowd and make your job easier. Thanks for watching. And you'll see that I combine, combine, it's combine. And you'll see that I combine, combine again, it's combine.